Yes, dear all, Dr. Vishal from Vishwa Medical Coaching and uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss with you what are all topics we are going to take in the clinical pharmacology course that is what we are having since last 12 years in Mumbai in uh, classroom programs at Dadar as well as Nehru Nabi Mumbai as well as we have a live online sessions which are conducted on uh, the Zoom cloud meetings for those who are not able to attend the classroom lectures but they want to attend the classroom from wherever they are as well as we have the recorded lectures badge which is being taken on a Facebook private group where students can see the lectures as according to their convenience uh, in a limited period of time in a very discounted rate. So in the first topic called in clinical pharmacology we have general pharmacology in which we discuss about as you see in the picture we have the pharmacokinetics there's a spelling mistake here, there's a pharmacodynamics, this mechanism of drug action, combined use of drugs. In this particular topic, we are going to learn about all general concepts in pharmacology. That is, how exactly we decide the dose, duration, frequency, route of drug administrations, what happens when the drug is consumed, mechanism of drug action, when we take a lot of drugs together, what exactly is going to happen, as well as the uh, adverse drug reactions so all those common things which are going to be there in every chapter you want to learn into this particular topic second topic is an autocoid pharmacology as you see in the picture in that we discuss about the short topics called as an anti-allergics anti-histaminics anti-leukotrienes treatment of allergies non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs painkillers and a clinical topic called the management of pain now in this management of pain remember is a when we take pharmacology, we do take all clinical topics also together. So it becomes a clinical pharmacology and becomes more interesting rather than only going for the theoretical pharmacology. So along with the drugs, the disease will also be covered related to the drug. ANS pharmacology, as we know, is the most difficult topic as the autonomic nervous system is not well understood in since physiology. But we uh, will take a general concepts about autonomic nervous system how exactly autonomic nervous system works and then we can go for cholinergic drugs, anti-cholinergic drugs, adrenergic drugs, anti-adrenergic drugs. Along with that there will be a treatment of myasthenia gravis, organophosphorus compounds poisoning, treatment of glaucoma and everything which is related to the autonomic nervous system like how exactly GI tract is controlled, renal system is controlled, cardiovascular system is controlled, respiratory system is controlled and indirectly ANS as the drugs which are acting on all the things which are not in your control. So this is very interesting topic. Next in the respiratory system, we do also take the treatment of an asthma. That is what is the only topic which uh, main topic there in the pharmac book. But we also take clinically what is COPD, what is asthma, what are the clinical features, investigations and the management of asthma, management of cough, dry cough and productive cough and anti-tissues agents and mucolytic agents. In that we also take tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is also taken during the antimicrobials along with that. In the GI medicine and pharmacology, we do take the gastrointestinal system pharmacology in which we have gastroesophageal reflux disease and the treatment, medicinal point of view, surgical point of view and philosophical pharmac point of view. Peptic ulcer in all those point of views, medical point of view, surgical point of view as well as pharmac point of view, diarrhea, dysentery management, most important in this is a differential diagnosis of vomiting because it can be as simple as gastritis, can be as complicated as the cancers. And also treatment of inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndromes, that is what we also take. In cardiovascular system, remember, is the most important medical topics, pharmac topic as well as for your basics. So we also take the introduction of life story introduction and life story yes in the cardiovascular system we do take the uh, introduction and life story of the cardiac patient and in that we uh, remember every patient of cardiac pathologies goes from the hypertension to ischemic heart disease to congestive heart failure and finally they die so in this particular thing we have a life story of a cardiac patient then we take an ischemic heart disease myocardial infarction and the angina pectoris management congestive heart failure and management, hypertension and the management. It's all discussed theoretically in the form of an, as well as practically for medicine as well as pharmacology. In the renal pharmacology, 
we do take the diuretics and the drugs acting on renin angiotensin aldosterone system one of the most important drugs in the blood medicine and pharmacology we do take types of anemia management physiologically pathologically pharmacologically as well as medicine point of view treatment of coagulation disorders anticoagulants thrombolytic drugs in the endocrine system medicine and pharmac we do take the thyroid disorders hypothyroid hyperthyroid goiters in the management medical point of view as well as surgical point of view and pharmac point of view one of the most important topic in this is diabetes in the management so we do devote a separate lecture for diabetes because this is the most important metabolic disorder we understand contraceptive pituitary hormone disorders as well as the other hormones in the nervous system we do take topics like anesthesia drugs alcohol is also a drug so pharmacology of the alcohol drug alcohol dependence treatment sedatives and hypnotics anti epileptics parkinsonism medicine as well as pharmac psychiatric disorders as well as opioid analgesics in the infections we do take little more details of the common sense of the use of an antibacterial drugs anti viral drugs antibiotics rather then we have different classification like penicillin cephalosporin sulfonamides microlides broad spectrum antibiotics fluoroquinolones antivirals hiv and the management anti fungal fungal infections protozoal infections tuberculosis leprosy worm disorders we do also take clin clinical topic like skin disorders in the management so one complete lecture is devoted to skin disorders anti protozoal anti cancer and the dressing materials so this is all topic we are going to take in a clinical pharmac batch which can be attended by any student who wants to learn pharmacology as well as related medicine so that the practical knowledge can be upgraded thank you very much